In the PFC 6000 series fire alarm control panels, if you have a point that is a supervisory condition, that point needs to go in a supervisory zone. What you're looking at here is the points list for a PFC 6075 that I have started to customize. And what I have done is I have a DCM module that is located at address 9 and 10, and I've created one point as a water flow and one point as a tamper. It has automatically assigned that tamper as a supervisory condition, and I cannot change that. I also have a tamper condition that is located on my PSN 1000 on both the second floor and the third floor, as you can see here. When I did the upload, these points came in as contact input pull station. That is the default when you do the learn at the fire alarm control panel for any contact input point. So I've now changed them to a supervisory condition from an alarm condition. Now when you do the learn at the fire alarm control panel, it's going to assign everything that it finds into zone 1. So currently all of my points are in my general alarm zone that I've created here, and it is an alarm style zone. I've also gone ahead and created a fire drill zone, which has all of the outputs that I wish to activate when the fire drill button on the front of the fire alarm control panel is pressed. If I try and download this into my fire alarm control panel at this point, it will not let me do so because there are audit errors. As you can see here, there are several points that are actually a supervisory point assigned to the alarm zone, and that will not work. So what I need to do is I can save this, but it won't let me download, is I need to create a supervisory zone. So I'm going to add one zone. I'm going to call it supervisory. You can call it whatever you'd like. And the important thing here is to make it style supervisory. In this case, I'm also going to make it non-latching. So in the event that the tamper creates a supervisory event and then resets itself, the panel event will clear without having to reset the fire alarm control panel. And now I'd like to find those tamper points in my points list over here. So I'm going to filter by function and I'm going to find my tampers, which are on my built-in SLC and my two power supplies. I'm going to select all three of those and assign them to the supervisory zone. Now again, these are automatically in the alarm zone because when I did a learn, they came in by default as contact input pull station, and I have not removed them from the general alarm zone. So I can do so from the points list by selecting general alarm, left-clicking on that, and then right-clicking and removing that point from the zone. I can also have gone to the general alarm zone and found them and removed them that way as well. So remember when programming any of the PFC 6000 series panels, you need to make sure that if you have a supervisory point, it is assigned to a supervisory zone. At this point, I can download the system into my fire alarm control panel without any issue. If you have any further questions, please refer to the installation manual as well as the other pre-recorded modules on the programming software.